When Zwift contacted us recently to say we had an opportunity to race Jonas Vinegar and Sepp Kuss, the two most recent Grand Tour winners, I immediately put my hand up. There was no doubt in my mind I was the person for this job. I'm the person to take on two of the best riders in the world. Sorry, I'm just in a Swift ride. I'll have to call you back. He's robbing us now, Sepp. <laughs> I'm slipstreaming <laughs> Sepp to get back to Jonas. <laughs> You're pulling for the wrong tactics, I would say. Six hundred meters. Oh my god! Sandwich between Grand Tour winners. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> None of us really need an introduction, but I shall do one anyway. Jonas Vinegar, 27 years old, Danish. Sepp Kuss, 29 years old, American. Dan Lloyd, 43 years young, British. Between the three of us, we have won 37 pro races, including the Tour de France, twice, stages of the Criterium du Dauphiné, and the Vuelta. At Extremadura 2008, brutal race, worthy winner. Basically, we are three titans of cycling. So who would win a race between me, Jonas, and Sepp? Well, do you know what? I think it could be quite close between Jonas and Sepp, of course for second place. In all seriousness, there is not a cat chance in hell that I'd be able to stick with these guys. I wouldn't have done in my heyday, let alone 15 years past my prime. You know that, I know that, everybody knows that. And so we had to devise an alternative plan, an alternative game. Just how hard will Jonas and Sepp, two of the world's best pro cyclists, have to work to beat me? one of the world's worst ex-pro cyclists. Will they even need to breathe through their mouth? Will they even look in the least bit laboured? It's time to find out. Here's the route that we'll be tackling today. It's the Island Hopper, which takes on two loops of the Urukazi Island complex. A total of 18 kilometres with 128 metres of elevation gain, most of that in the second half. It should take me somewhere around 30 minutes to complete at my current fitness, if you can even call it fitness. If they were racing, Jonas and Set would probably finish around eight minutes in front of me. But today, all they need to do is pit me to the finish line. You put your correct weights in here, you've got your race weights. I don't know. I think mine is the race weight, That's so great. probably it's a bit cheating already. <laughs> Sorry about that. To change mine. <laughs> What's your rate weight? 45 kilos? <laughs> yeah, I'm 58 here. Yeah. One minute 20 to go. If you Sorry. want to beat me, you've got to be actually in the race. I'm, I'm just curious. I cannot change it, so. Yeah. <laughs> How confident are you feeling, Jonas? Had the training this morning already, so. So, a bit tired. Ah, legs are. Ticking over, so Feeling okay. ready to for a hot start. <laughs> it's not going to be a hot start. <laughs> Normally, it's when you do a swift race, more than this. you do like a sprint out of the start. Yeah, well, I won't be doing that. <laughs> well, I could do. I'm, I'm, I'm geared I up for do that. Five I'm, seconds, I'm, already, I'm in the big ring. I'm... I could do five seconds because I don't. Yeah, I, yeah. You don't pay for that, do you? Physiologically, no, you don't build lactate. You got to start hard. Seconds. Four, three, two, one. Like one sprint for five seconds. <laughs> Gotta read the facial uh, oh, body language. Go. I've already reached almost 800 watts. And now I've gone below 200. Okay. Oh. It's creeping back up to 300. I know I can't sustain that. No, now we're just playing games with you. <laughs> uh oh. Comes the slingshot. Oh, so I, <laughs> after 45 seconds, I'm at almost 150 heart rate. Bearing in mind that my maximum is probably lower than yours, given my age. What's your max? I've got no idea. <laughs> I know what my max heart rate was 12 years ago. How much? 192. Okay. In theory, it should have dropped 10 beats since then. What is it? Your age minus? Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> the basic calculation. Yeah, 220 yeah. minus your age, <laughs> which would put mine at 177. All right. We gotta play our, our tactical cards, no? Yep. Jonas? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have a go. Okay, two minutes in. I'll block for you. No, you're not blocking. <laughs> I'm sitting on your wheel. <laughs> I'm slipstreaming set to get back to Jonas. Just to let you both know, this is how quickly fitness drops off if you don't ride your bike for a decade. The good thing is you're more fresh, at least. 
you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very fresh. You got the peak power. In all seriousness, it's like, if I think back to what power I used to average on recovery rides, like about 170 normally, I wasn't really looking at it, but it literally felt like the weight of my legs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pushing the pedal. Automatically generated the power. Yeah, right? and now I go out, and if I did two hours at about that, it really feels like a proper workout. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but for us too, when we start the season, it's uh, you really feel like you start from from zero. Yeah. You think, how how will I ever be? Uh, <laughs> well, I don't remember like how much. Like, yeah, I remember <laughs> how much back. different it felt after just three weeks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're in the green jersey? Yeah, yeah. Big, big How ironic. <laughs> so coming up to five minutes in, on a scale of one to ten, Jonas, what's your effort score? Mm. One or two? One! <laughs> I'll take two. So yeah, about two. Two out of ten. Oh, it's just to close oh, yeah, the gap. Now there I am. Now we're here. I'm back now you're in. Back. No. <laughs> I gotta catch up now. Now they're worried. Now they're worried. Now, worried. now, Seb, now I will help you instead. <laughs> so. Block for me. <laughs> yeah. I did do some training in preparation for this. Yeah. So, yeah. Two ride on the first and second of January. Yeah. And that's been <laughs> it. You're starting the year off, right? <laughs> yeah. With hangover on the first of January then? Uh, well, yeah, I had I had quite a bit on <laughs> New Year's Eve, but I don't suffer with hangovers, thankfully. Genetically gifted. Yeah. It's lucky. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I'm just in a swift ride. I'll have to call you back. No, I'm starting to sweat. Me too. Are you? Here we go, right. Nine minutes in, effort level, one to ten. Set. So, so same about two. <laughs> Still two, <laughs> just I've got yeah. a sweat on. No, I'm, 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 I'm growing into it, but I'm, I'm really working into the... All right, just to let you know, I'm eight, Dennis. I would also say two. <laughs> what power are you at right now? 190. Yeah, oh, I'm 240. Same. It didn't make that much difference in Zwift, the weight. Uh-oh, sprint coming up. 350 meters. That's too far for me to sprint. <laughs> <laughs> They're ready. Do short work. Long oh, run. no, I see it, the banner now. They're ready. <laughs> I'm not going to bother doing it. As I am! Oh, jeez. Oh, that was the finish line. Oh, that... Does that mean oh. I won? <laughs> <laughs> the sunlight's on our screens. Oh, now the... 170 heart rate. Hey, you won this one. Yeah. <laughs> you have the best time. Yeah, so. Oh, man. Best time in the sprint. I, I 170 heart rate. Right? <laughs> it's amazing how much fitness you lose, because obviously, 15 years ago, I'd have been smashing these two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid when I, uh, when I stop, how quick it goes. Oh, my cadence has really dropped as well. You need another gel. Yeah. <sighs> you got to go backstage well, I think for the a thing gel. Is, <laughs> even though I'm going really hard, Right now it's going up there. The actual calories I'm burning at my power, <laughs> I'm probably not going to get through the 90 gram gel I had. Now there's a B. Uh, this is part of my plan. Less than halfway through, my heart rate had already crept up towards 170. And even though my expectations weren't high to begin with, the reality of the size of the chasm between me and the world's best was brutally evident. I was already on my limit, and time seemed to be standing still. Ah, the time's flying by, though. Yeah. You guys. Only 10k left. <laughs> I don't think we've even got to the climb yet. This is going to be more than half an hour for me. <laughs> or for us. Oh, I dropped everyone. Oh, I nice. dropped everyone. <laughs> While you're on the phone? <laughs> Bring Dan up to you. <laughs> <laughs> we ran against each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 169 heart rate. I've got cardiovascular drift. What is that? where your heart rate rises to the same power gradually. Ah. If you're very fit, it normally doesn't. At one point it does, eventually. Yeah, eventually. I guess. Not normally after 16 minutes. <laughs> no. yeah. How much over your race weight did you get this winter? If you're allowed um, to say. I don't know, I usually try not to check until uh, <laughs> around now. <laughs> at one point, you look at yourself and... Yeah, I, I usually just go for the mirror test. I just yeah. <laughs> Jump check up and in down. every once in a while, look see at myself in the mirror in. and see if the bones that normally poke out, poke out. And if not, uh, I don't know, probably four or five kilos. Yeah. Oh, well, quite a bit. Yeah, but it... I do the same. Did you hear Geraint Thomas complaining in his podcast that you <laughs> are naturally skinny and he has to work harder? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, that, that, that also comes with age. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's what they say. Fired back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid when I stop that I will gain more fat than I lose weight. <laughs> you put weight on easily? Yeah, pretty. Yeah? Maybe it's also the amount of food that I eat. In, uh... Well, that's where I'm really lucky is that my, my appetite completely mirrors how much exercise I'm doing. Yeah. So, if, yeah, I, I, I always used to have the same, same thing. For me, three, takes... three weeks off in the off season. Yeah. I couldn't wait. I can eat anything I want. And about a week in, I'd be like, well, I'm just, I'm not really hungry. For I me, do. it's a different kind of hunger or appetite. Like, the appetite I have after a ride is, is always the nicest kind of appetite. Yeah. Yeah. But then. I always have that appetite. <laughs> yeah. I always have to step on the scale after two or three weeks in the off-season and I get a shock every every time. <laughs> it might be the hair on the legs. Half a kilo. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice and warm. Thick hair. Oh, I've got a truck, Sven. Sven, I need a truck. Get this truck. <laughs> I think you need someone in front of you. Because <laughs> to, it's, it's drafting. And oh, okay. <laughs> leave it then, leave it. Now Sven is not pushing. <laughs> He's freewheeling. That was a nail in the coffin for Dan. Both of us with our, our uh, power up things. <laughs> Are you feeling behind me? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we're in front of you. <laughs> in front of me? <laughs> no, we're coasting now. Now you have to work on we the There's a lot of glare on the screen, which is why I can't see exactly what's going on. <laughs> How far is it to go? Five Ks. You're getting back six, now, are Six we? Ks. Okay. But at least we got there. Oh, he's coming with speed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get in arrow. I'll close it, I'll close I'm it. I'm like the hot edge. <laughs> then we also go arrow. Yeah. He's dropping us now, Seb. Yeah. Out of 10, Seb. Still a, a high two. A high two? <laughs> yeah. Can I get a high five from Jonas? <laughs> sure. <laughs> well done. 174 heart rate, I saw then. That's crazy, isn't it? I'm on 125. 24. Four Ks to go. Oh, you, you're pulling for us. That's the wrong tactics, I would say. The wrong tactics indeed. But in this race, no amount of clever riding is going to change the end result. At this point, a whopping 13 kilometers in, the finish line can't come soon enough for me. Quite frankly, I just want to be put out of my misery. You have a sprint in you for, uh, for the when final? In my peak, I could do... 1,350 watts, maybe. Okay, that's it's more than me. It, it, that's it, more it, than me, also. 175, heart rate. I'm gonna do the lead out. 2K lead out? <laughs> Told you I was the man for the job. 176. That's the highest heart rate I've seen for a long, long, long time. <laughs> With two kilometers remaining, the three of us were locked together in the most uneven battle of the century. Whilst I was approaching a heart rate I've not seen in years, and one which disproves the 220 minus your age theory, Jonas and Set were on the verge of taking an unplanned afternoon nap. Oh, seven, seven. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's an uphill finish. So it's just sitting in your wheel. <laughs> Letting you do all the work. <laughs> 600 meters. Oh my God. Last push. <sighs> Oh, you're making it across step. <laughs> nice right, I made good. a, a new loop. Out of 10. I think I'm on a, on a three now. I made it to three. See about that, two or three. It's always a different feeling on the, on the trainer versus outside, so. <clears throat> oh, gosh. Was, uh, How much were you on? 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> No, you beat me though, Ben. I did? Yeah, yeah. Sandwich between Grand Tour winners. I mean, it was a privilege for me to ride with two such good riders. 
And I, thought, I think it might be a kick up the backside <laughs> to ride my bike a little bit more. What do you reckon your average? 180, 170? I think uh, 185. <sighs> 190. Yeah, OK. You got 216. Ah, OK. Right, thanks again, both, for your time. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Shall we reconvene in 15 years' time and see where you're at? <laughs> sure. Maybe 26. <laughs> How old are you? 26. Then it, it I'm 27 now. 27. Yeah. How old are you now? 43. But then I want to do it against you again in 20 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like uh -huh. I said, we'll go again. And uh, <laughs> we'll see you in, what would it be? 2039. Yeah. 2039, 2039, yeah. 2039. Pencil, pencil it in. Yeah, I'll put it in my calendar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A reminder one week before. Yeah, yeah. I'll get a reminder every year. I'm genuinely shattered, and we are now three hours past that legendary Zwift race, which has been a little bit of a wake-up call, I would say, for me. I mean, obviously, I knew I wasn't going to be pushing them hard, but I did at least think that they might get to a four, maybe a five out of ten perceived exertion. But the maximum I pushed Sepkus to was a high two, and I think Jonas Vinegar was at about the same point. I already had a New Year's resolution that I was going to be spending more time on my bike this year, but after that, I have realised just how unfit I am right now, and I need to do something about it. Bit of weight training, quite a lot more time on the bike this year. Anyway, less about me. I really hope that you enjoy this video today. Thanks go to Visma Lisa Bike, of course, and Jonas and Seth for being great sports, and to Zwift for setting this race up. It's been an absolute privilege to ride with two such class riders. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please share it with your mates and give it a thumbs up.